Hello, welcome everyone. This is the uh, this is the Blair. This is the match. This is the matches for the third place of the ESL. Um, basically, we're here with Enro. We're here with Joker's Joker's on the blue, and we have Enro Griffins on the red. We're going to see how it's going on. Um, we've got Henge, which has been taken by Blue at the moment. We've got the red team at the moment not got any points coming in for their team we just see oops Yosh go down there on the point just have to give him a moment we are streaming this very last minute I probably have myself and Nightbot in the channel watching me right now but we will see how we go with the fights going on at the moment we see mine has also been taken we've got free cap going down by blue at the moment Joker's going for the free cap very very strong there out the bat uh, we see that Trek has actually gone for a cap on the side point of Henge very nice at the moment going for that just making sure pulling back the blue team all three guys of the blue team there panicking kind of moving back to the point um only two to three guys of the red on the hinge at the moment you see uh we're just going to drop in here um just see the necro going for it there just getting that um torment on really really fast really really good focus there on track did a good job getting down very very fast so it's just a, just a matter of time really until the warrior is taken down do you see that red have got their guardian there as well and now the point has been contested Terra did need to stay on the point there as much as possible he still has got congestion red have just got mine back and then they've pushed also to mid so they need to get some support over here to to Awu who is looking for potential support looks like oops Yosh has just pulled into the point as well looks like we've got a nice little bit of a combo going down here Hopefully we can get a little bit more support going down. Um, but yeah. Title? Oh yes. <laughs> My stream is looking extremely special at the moment, by the way, guys. Um, it was very, very, very last minute of me trying to get this sorted. So I do apologise about that. Apologise to yourself. We just wanted to try and get this um, match really, really in there for you very, very, very quickly. Um just seeing how we're going on the mine here uh, doing pretty well red pulling the points back down blue gone one four zero uh, got reds on 80 it is still a very much up for grabs right now for these both teams um, appreciate guys if you can try and get the message out there to the, the uh, community try and get some um, guys in the channel just to feed this up that would be sweet as try and get some um, um, also, yeah, I need to change my title on the actual stream itself to ESL, which should also be very useful. Um, doing pretty well here. Um, red coming back quite strong there, just got pulled back about 30 points. Oops, Josh now going for the boss over on the red side, trying to get those buffs uh, and get those points back for them. Try and get some extra stats as they move in. Does it like the din and maybe just hitting back? Maybe potentially going to go for that kill still on the boss? No, a bit too late there. Red did get the kill on the boss. Very good job from them there. Um, I'm just going to change my Twitch title so that people don't get confused when they come in. Okay, lovely, lovely. Apologies, guys, for that. Just missing a bit of the fight there. I just got to screw around with a couple of options as well. Thank you very much. Okay, we're back on this mid fight here. So we see that Track is on the midpoint, losing quite a bit of health, getting putting up his um, supply crate there, which is going to give him a lot of burst healing on himself, picking up all those little um, med packs as you see running around. That's, that's very, very awesome. Um, I'm not sure if he's running the elite uh, supply packs at all. I don't think so, as I remember from the last one. But he is very, very useful. He just did pull out the um, elixir gun there as well, popping off a bit of health. Still got their healing turret out as well. So he's got a lot of heals going back. As you can see, almost up to full health, full endurance. The fight there just switched completely. Got the support back from the red team. Very, very nice there from uh, from red play on that they just need to work at these side points a little bit try and keep them not sure they're aware that Awu is about to go down on mine side unfortunately didn't go down on the points so not keeping those valuable seconds on the congestion there so they actually also at the midpoint did get knocked out three players knocked out at that point and titanium and um whoever just went down i think it was uh 
I'm not sure exactly who went down on the side point there. Did actually get the Reds off the point so they could contest it. So Blue now have the two out points and concession on the mid. And Titanium does go down there, but he did an extremely good job at trying to keep that midpoint contested. Just getting that extra couple of points ahead there, probably about 20, 25 points ahead. Um, keeping that very nice pointage up is indeed. So we see that Enro are doing pretty well here at the moment. Uh, just to keep these points going, ticking over. This match is still very much, a, very much still can be won by the red team. They just need to pull together and get onto these points a little bit more. Try and get a little bit more team um, fight together. I mean, Ars fighting out here really needs to try and get back to a team member. Try and get back on point. Fight with his team. Try and benefit each other from the boons and stuff that they're giving out. Um, Especially with those blasts, trying to get that damage up. He did make it back to his his teammate there, too sick, to try and get the res, but it's going to be, I think, too late. Unfortunately, he did get up there. Not on, didn't look like he was actually going to get up there on the point. Very, very good job. Do you see on blue a lot of, of, of everywhere on the map, especially Henge and mine at the moment. A lot of conditions being dealt on on them. Sick nature has just gone down the point. He is getting res. We'll see if he's going to get up. Yes, he just did get up. Oh, we do see this Summon Flesh Golem um, being used again. Very interesting uh, move there. Well, I might have to try that out. I've seen this used a lot more. He did just get passed down very quickly, and he is, in fact, down. Ayu looks like he's in a lot of trouble now at keep as well. The point is contested. Main might just want to get back on that point, but knows that he's probably just going to get the down. Just going to go recap the point. Terra did get in there, so ooh, a little bit of a mistake by maybe there. Um, but opting for the kill, knowing that they are 150 points ahead. Um, and they really don't have any worries whatsoever. Do see a lot of fighting going down on mine as well at the moment. Um, a lot of the red team are down, unfortunately. Enro Griffin's getting taken down, and just just inevitable, really, how this match is being played out. Uh, team members from red are kind of sketching around the map. Um, really scrolling out trying to get those points um, they are trying to go for mid it's a very Just even like fight that. Terra versus uh, maybe at the moment maybe uh, Din can get back up there give him a little bit of help but do you see sick nature very very squishy necro um, getting bit basically kind of caught from behind as he's trying to get up into the midpoint to support the rest of his team which was a good good idea for him to do but just maybe not aware that he was actually being fully chased there and we see Terra going down here as well so midpoint inevitable that that will be taken Henge he's going to get the support he needs there very soon um Ayo just needs to get back on the point and needs to play with his team these guys are keep unfortunately keeps Popping out of the point, not really playing together solidly. They just need to keep those two-on-two -two fights going. Try not to abandon the point. Try and benefit from each other's boons. And um, also use those combo fields a bit more to try and increase their damage. I mean, it does look like Oops Yoshi is going to get him down here on this point. The Ranger, he's going to go for the down. He might get it. Let's just see if he's going to get that down. He's actually gone down himself <laughs> off the burst damage from the din. It looks very good, but we've actually got Just some of the red team coming in now to help. Uh, we've got three on two. One situation now at Henge. Uh, my apologies. Um, and it does look like red are going to take that. Unfortunately, we are only 25 points away from the match with blue with a two cap on red uh, in Forest. So we basically will be seeing blue take this match at the moment. So he may be very quick confident in the match at the moment looks like he's gonna just wander around and just kind of let the clock tick out so we have 500 to 250 for the blue team congratulations shokers on that win and we will go into our next match not bad little fights there in that map from these guys um I think one of the red team have pulled out to uh, go and potentially change their spec. I'm going to have a quick little tiny edit of this just because it's uh, upsetting me, really. <laughs> um, a yeah, good, good little fight there. Joker's doing extremely well. Um, 
very impressed with these guys. Not really seen them play much um, as a team. I, I've heard the name going around. Uh, very, very impressed. Like to see Enro try and pull out the pull something out of the bag here. Hopefully, um, see a little bit more of a fight going on in this map. Uh, a little bit more teaming up as well would be very good. Just might very quickly stick my camera on. I haven't tested this. You're going to have to bear with me for a moment. Might as well try it out now. Oh, yes. And you're just going to have to completely ignore that. Uh, professional. Professional indeed. Basically, guys, I just... Um, just basically uh, just ran in here very very quickly to try and get this done um, so as you can see we've got a little bit of a new lock going on for ESL probably would have been a better time to premiere that at a different time but just trying it out as well um, seeing how it's going it's quite dark in here um, I can pay electric bills it's just literally the way the room is um, just waiting for some of the teams for some of the red team to get back in here and try and uh, pull this back with a 1-1 one, one. Um, basically we're looking we're looking pretty good here I mean the the final match was really really um, was really really awesome uh, we got to faux fire we had um, close could have gone for the Lord unfortunately I didn't get that on under their belts I hope maybe we can see a Lord kill here I want to see some Lord kills I love those Lord kills they're so good we're going to nip back into um, the match now. Um, just going to go back into there. And I'm going to switch this over to the game itself right now. Um, that's actually my stream and that's unit. <laughs> Everything's been renamed. So you get to see all my screens there. Lovely job. Professional. Um Right, so Joker's one, Enro zero, Faux Fire. Let's see how we go. So I had Syrof doing all this for me before. It was easy enough. All I needed to do was talk. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's very good of him to let me on this on the stream before. Make sure you follow him. Uh, on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Jeb Dan and also my YouTube channel. Um, all my stuff is below my um, my stream at the moment. You can click on there, get all my links, um, and basically see how we go. Uh, we've just check out the videos. ESL, um, I've got I'm streaming at the moment every Saturday, trying to get that going twice a week um, with some fellow shoutcasters from ArenaNet as well. So. Yeah, we're looking pretty good at all the streams and stuff. We're doing the um, a lot of cup matches, getting out there, trying to get some more cups going. It's it's all looking very solid at the moment. Uh, SPVP wise, it's it's come a lot a long way in the last couple of weeks, even. So that's really really good to see. Hopefully, we'll see it a lot more. As you see, my whole UI go a bit weird. All right, we're going to go for this. We are going to go for this indeed. See how we go on these splits here as we see the red and the blue team. Normally I would do a little bit of a tactical overlay for you guys, but we haven't got time at the moment because we're trying to get into this as soon as possible. Get this streamed out for you guys and let's get it out to the community. Um, get it out to the world. Basically, we see a two, three possible split. And blue team going four now mid one close, and red team unfortunately getting that getting that a bit wrong at their close there, thinking that blue were potentially going to go for the um, the cross to their to their close there. So we see on the midpoint we do see that Terra got a little bit of pressure on him as the guardian, but in no real danger as we can see at the moment. We do see Yosh also just getting a little bit of damage on him, then bailing out the point just to reset himself, reset his health a little bit more. See, Oops is just getting a little bit of focus there as well. He's bound to get a little bit of focus, a little bit of uh, his health down as well. Just needs to know when to bail out, trying to come back in. Terra's getting focused very hard now. He's got Torment, a lot of conditions going down. He's got Chill, he's got everything down on him. He has gone down on the point. 
He's yeah. getting downed right now. He did get the res very fast there from Red. Terra is getting focused still. They need to try and put some CC on this team. They're having him for breakfast at the moment. Smashed him. Out of the fight instantly. Oops is next. This team have got the focus down. They've got, they're really, really hammering now. I have red team at the moment. Looks like Sick Nature is also next on their list. Oops, also coming off the point. Has tried to potentially take people away from the fight, but they are outnumbered in the mid. So they do need to actually try and stay together. But the conditions are mounting up. He's got 11 stacks of bleed. He's... The conditions on the, t the team are dealing out, the focus, the pure focus of the team on the target is just absolutely unbelievable and is very, very impressive from Blue. Um, we do see that even though their points are lower, this does not reflect the team fighting that's gone on the map. Red, are, they are actually outnumbering them in the fights, which is why those guys are going down so fast. Let's just make that completely clear here right now. So Red, even though losing the team fights, have got the advantage point-wise, have actually got the two cap over Blue at the moment. But as you can see, Blue have moved back to Waterfall to capture their close point. And it doesn't actually look like they've seen Oops is down here. They haven't gone for him. Looks like... Oh, he's going to get back up. Josh did extremely well there to come in when he did. I think they just forgot about the thief completely or maybe got some cleave damage. But unfortunately, he has gone down there on the point. He looks like he's going to get stomped. No, he got pressed. That's absolutely spectacular. The resing in this fight is absolutely amazing. The focus as well from both teams. We see that Red are indeed in London. They're ahead by about 40 points at the moment. This could be anyone's game at the minute. We're uh, three minutes, four minutes in at the moment. Not even 100 points being scored. We, this is going to come close to time. I can see it happening right now. Oops, Josh has just gone down. And yet, yeah, the Din has just got him down there. So looking like Blue, very heavy on the waterfall at the moment. Looks like potentially could be taking it. There is a three on three fight going on here at the moment. Let's just have a quick look at the rest of the map. Blue taking mid, and we Just do like see that. that there is a bit of contestion on the quarry. So the only point it is taken is the mid, which doesn't have anyone on it at the moment. Warrior just checking our situation on both sides, trying to have a look. Reds need to get this point down fast. So Titanium is down, but the FIFA's come in for the stealth res, and which is, has just got off there. Very, very, very good job from maybe there. We see that, oops, oh, the Din's just gone down. Looks like he has indeed gone down. Red really need to finish this fight very, very quickly on um, Waterfall. Need to get this sorted. They're outnumbering them now, so it's really an, a matter of time. They just need to get this done very, very fast. They are losing points rapidly as Blue have the midpoint. Do you see Sick Nature has now got the actual point, um, the close point. You do see that he did change from Necro, I believe, to Warrior in this. So we do see a two Warrior Guardian. Ellie and Thief aspect going on now. So we do see a couple of spec changes going on. Does seem to be working for them a lot better in these fights now. Maybe probably favouring this map as well in, uh, over Forest. The Din, easy cap there. Easy decap. He's even going to cap it just because he knows he can. Red have got to watch those back points. Does look like they've just traded their, their close point for the mid. But they I don't know if Just Six like going to be able to get over there in time. I think he's going to probably try and take on the, the um, Necro 1v1 on the quarry. Just going to dip into this fight here for a second, see how well this goes for him. We just see he's running Necrotic Transversal with the Flesh Run. I'm, not I'm still not sure about that ability. It's good for a good escape um, to get off the point and whatnot, but to be honest, not my favourite ability on Necro. Um, I think there's probably a lot more useful uh, utilities out there. Um, Corrupt Boon, very useful, especially against the Warrior, ch changing his uh, boons into good additions. But unfortunately, the... Um, the CC uh, just utterly destroys. 1v1 is very, very, very tough to combat. Um, do see Blue have taken Waterfall at the moment. Mid fight is pretty even at the moment. We just see there is the Ranger up there, as you can see, just ranging up the top. Ranger is ranging, very good. Um, <laughs> he is ranging up there, so someone like they did, they did take that initiative, just put in a bit of pressure on him, moving him back there, so he just hits back onto his point. So we're doing pretty well here. I mean, we Red's 
solid 40 points ahead, got their close point, got the mid. Um, blue have got their close point as well, so they blues just need to try and regroup. Din's going for that. Oh, he almost did get the. Con oh, he almost got the contestion onto Quarry. He's doing well there. He's actually getting back there, but sick actually learning from his mistake, um, making sure that he's not going to get that point lost. The Din maybe having lost that last fight probably needs to realise that he's not going to be getting lucky here. It's. Um, it's not going to make him any less of a player admitting that he's not going to be able to take out that, that warrior spec it is really really powerful um, we do see that red as you can see by the health bars on the left hand, top left hand side oh completely switched that fight round and I will completely take back what I just said the din really using those cooldowns but as you can see he's just done the right things just come out of the fight He's going back in, he's got all his boons back up. The Necros, <laughs> not sure how much of his he's got left of his utilities. He still has got a fair amount, he's still got Torment. I think he could probably take him and completely annoy me when I said what I did earlier. Oh, but we do see maybe just going in to finish him, so unfortunately we will never know. Um, Red, <laughs> Red have only got the midpoint at the moment, not sure what's happening. They seem to be falling apart at the wayside here. Blue team will be getting that free cap right now. That is going to change point advantage. Two Blues, two Jokers, uh, who are already one up in this series. Um, and yeah, they need to really, really pull pull themselves out of this. Red not, hopefully don't all push to mid on this point at the moment because mid is really only where they are. And Waterfall, hopefully they can do what they've been doing the whole match and just sneak these points from, from either side and we can try and get into a Kylo low here. But at the moment, it does look like Blue are starting to tick those points ahead. As you see, the Ranger is watching the back point, um, doing a good job there, making sure that point's secure. They do have the red team's home point as well. Oops, oh, going down there. Sick not really noticing what's going on with his teammate there. A little bit of lack of communication. Has decided not to go for the res and to go back and join his teammates down at mid or actually at Waterfall. It looks like Red Team are going to zerk in straight into Waterfall, try and take down these Ranger pets very, very, very quickly and try and take down um, Imba, Imbaka <laughs> very fast. He has lost all of his spirits at the moment. He doesn't have that elite either. He's lost all his cooldowns on his pets. It is very, very inevitable that he will go down there. But um, he has got two teammates in as well. He's got the stealth threads. He's going to get back up. He's back in the fight. And his cooldowns are back up as well. He is back in this fight very, very strong. Very, very quickly. He's got that stealth still. So look, he's on the, almost got his heal off as well very, very shortly. Um, and he'll be back very, very tough. And, and then going for Terran, unfortunately, not getting that res off. We do see that maybe he's on the point as well. We do see that Titanium is here as well. And Blue are oh, unfortunately maybe focusing their efforts maybe a bit too hard on this point. But Din does also have their close. And he's being very, very strong on the red team's close. They have stretched to a 150 point lead now presently. It is looking a little bit hopeless for the red team. If we can get a 350 situation for them, potentially they could come back into this. Red decapping mid. There are no points coming in for either team. We need red teams to try and get some communication over here. They've got a three on one. Not sure why two of them are now moving to mid rather than securing the waterfall home point. They could have taken that point. But I think they're trying to get mid, maybe trying to get some focus on that point. It is good, they have got quarry, so now the element of this is coming mid. I don't want to see him lose that point, but we do see the ranger is respawning and it is moving down either to mid or to quarry. We need to see these guys check their back point because these points are really, really important. I pray to God that that is what they're doing because at the moment, Oops Yosh is probably going to go down in the near future. Um, on waterfall, I mean, you still got that decap. So, red team are getting ticks in. They have their back point. They have potentially mid soon. They need to be quicker on these downing. Their damage seems to be lacking. Maybe it's a potential focus. I think this is what Enro Griffins are missing in terms of the team fights. Joker's got a lot more focus on getting their targets down compared to Enro Griffins at the moment. And 
but Enro are driving them off the point at the moment. If they can get some downs here, potentially push them away, maybe even push towards their close point. Points very slow ticking over for Red at the moment. Just going to see how that goes. Just going to nip over to Waterfall now. See, Oops, Josh is going down. Six going to try and get in there for the res, getting a bit of stability up on himself. He is very close to the res. He's got a lot of cleave damage. Unfortunately, doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it. The Din is down. He's going to go for some sissy. Maybe he's going to go for the down himself. Oh, very close there. Such a good, good play from Titanium. But he did get the rally, but that's just off Vengeance. So he's going to try and keep that point for as long as possible. So unfortunately in this situation, Oops Josh has gone down and so has Sick Nature. We do see that also Din has noticed Oops or Aru moved back to the red team's close point at the moment. Terran, whoa, the damage coming off onto Oops. Making a big mistake going down off point. Needs to use that... Um, Misform to get back on the point while it gets bleeded out. That's a big mistake by him there. Big mistake. Even when you're being bled out, you want to get onto that point so that you're not losing contestion. A wasted misform from Oops there. Unfortunately, not using that to the best of his advantage. Um, you see Terror at the moment. It's also down in the mid. A free cap back into the arms of Blue Team. This will 100% confirm the win um, as the points we just wait get ticked over. Very exciting match. Very exciting match. Um, unfortunately, Blue Red losing it very much in the last minute or so of this fight. Joker's very, very, very strong towards the end. An impressive fight from both teams. Um, very well done from everyone. Whew. Well, call me Jimmy and give me a PvP match. That was blimey. Awesome. <laughs> I'm completely worn out, to be honest, after that. That was really, really, really great match there at the end to um, commentate. So I thank the two teams for that. Just going to move back into my camera now. Um, right, so everybody, um, we've had a nice little go with ESL tonight. We do see that um, both teams in the third round, in, sorry, for third place, had a good little duking out session. Um, we saw the Jokers took that pretty strongly in the end, and we'll, hopefully, we'll see these, all these teams come back next week. I'm very impressed by the um, showing that's going on at the moment. We're seeing a lot more uh, teams stronger. We're seeing the, the skill uh, leap getting less and less. We're seeing these teams getting better. We saw Eclipse tonight coming in for one of the first times and putting in an awesome display, getting straight into the final. Maybe see Cheese Mode back in next week. We'll see you guys next week. You'll see me perhaps potentially next week. You'll see some other guys casting. Get out there to Twitch. Check my Twitch out. Check my Twitter out. Check my YouTube out. I'm up and coming, guys. This is happening. So get on it. Get on it with these guys as well. We've got um, potentially, I will be streaming a um, Tony Huns coming up this Saturday, a Russian tournament with Unigild. So also check the forums for that info. Check out all the details. See you later guys, thank you for joining us again, take it easy.